Okay, versatile vigilante, man. Young Vince, Solo, Uncle Vinny, we're here. Got a good episode coming up, man. Before we even get into it, just want to shout out Capital T Films for coming through. I, I really like the feedback from that interview, from that podcast. Great guy. And anyone who enjoyed that, shout out to you. I think that was a great one, talking a lot about Casper and, and filming in the city and just networking, being a young creative. So great episode. I love that interview. Shout out Capital T Films. Go check out you know whatever he, he puts out. Go check out his YouTube, Instagram, all that. Um, good guy and, and fucking really enjoyed that episode. But today, you just got me today, no guests solo. And uh just excited to excited to get into it with you guys, man. Just to kind of start it off, I wanna talk a little bit about something that Paul Pierce, anyone who knows Paul Pierce, retired basketball player, great basketball player, then he became a, a ESPN like reporter or whatever you would call it. And uh, he's an interesting guy. I don't know if he was the most well received by fans and, and all that. Like Paul Pierce, I feel like was always kind of getting roasted, but a situation happened a couple, I don't know, a couple of months ago where he was on Instagram live and he was playing poker and he had some strippers around and they were smoking weed and partying and all that. And he got canned from his job at ESPN, man. And I found it so interesting. Recently, he he came out and did an interview where he's like, yo, I, I fucking hated working there. Like they did. They made us talk about the same shit all the time, talking about LeBron all the time. He's like, I, I they wanted me to apologize. Like people wanted me to apologize my agent even wanted me to apologize even after I got fired and I'm like why would I apologize man I already got canned plus I didn't give a fuck like I was gonna leave anyway and I wasn't doing anything illegal man I'm I'm divorced you know I'm not cheating on my wife or anything I'm a single guy I wasn't doing anything illegal we're playing some cards amongst friends weed's legal like really it was my choices and and I wasn't hurting anybody and I thought that was so refreshing man because it's it's so interesting. A lot of people will just assume like, oh, you got fired from your job. That's it. Your life's over. And Paul Pierce looked at it completely different. Like, hey, it is what it is, but I'm doing my thing and I'm going to go do some other things. After that, I'll go figure some shit out. And it just got me thinking about life in general, man. It's so interesting how different people could have completely different perspectives on things and really all you have is your perspective because a situation is what it is we talk about paul pierce's situation people some people might look at it like oh my god this guy dropped the ball he had millions of dollars in salary probably and he had a cushy job and this and that corporate job his life is ruined and paul pierce looked at it completely different like I didn't even really enjoy being there in the first place. And I'm a grown man and I made my own decisions and fuck that. I, 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 you know, that's how I feel about it. And that's so interesting, man, because any situation can be viewed differently by different people. I'm going to use a personal example, man. I'm a fucking 20. I'm turning 26 shortly. This might I actually might be 26 by the time this comes out. So anyone wants to say happy birthday to me, there we go. But um. I'll, I'll give you like some personal shit. I'm 26. I still live with my parents. I have no girlfriend. I have no property of my own. Like, you know, I'm building this podcast, still not getting the most amount of viewers and this and that. Some people might look at it from this perspective. You're a fucking loser who still lives at home with no bitches and getting no play and all this stuff. And I could look at it completely different. I could say, man, I'm living at home, saving money got some good money stashed away. I got no commitment. I could do whatever I really want to do. I don't have to worry about anyone's feelings. And the situation is completely the same. I'm viewing it completely different than someone else, but the situation is completely the same. I find that so interesting, man. And it just goes to show in my beliefs that very little is black or white. Very little in this world can just be described as black or black and white, right or wrong. Very, very, very difficult to do that. There's a lot of gray area and there's a lot of different perspective, man. We got an election upcoming. I'm not going to go into it, but long story short, I am not a Justin Trudeau supporter at all. I'm not a fan of his at all. You could probably get that from meeting me that you could tell him he's not my cup of tea. But some people view him as the greatest. Some people love this guy. And what he's done is the same. He's 
put on brown face and he's done all this different types of shit. But some people don't view it a certain way and some people do. And who's to argue, man? Your perspective is yours. You view it one way, someone else views it completely different. I don't know if there's a right or wrong. I have my beliefs, I have my opinions, I have my principles. They might not jive with someone else's. Someone else might believe completely different from me. And who am I to really, you know, who am I to really fight with them over that? Or who am I to make a problem out of that? They believe differently than I do. And I just think that's interesting, man. I think understanding that where some people will not see it the way you see it. You cannot force someone to see a situation the way you do if they don't feel it in their heart. That happens a lot in, in the world today where people will just argue a point, argue a point. This is the fucking way to do it. This is the right answer. And you can't do that because someone just doesn't feel that way. What are you going to do? How are you going to tell someone they're wrong for how they feel if they have a if they have a real reason to feel that way? Bring up the vaccines right now. Controversial subject, but I'm just going to bring it up. It's a definitely a anti-vax and pro-vax like fake wrestling match going on. And I just think both mentalities there's good points to each of them, but you have to deliver your your you have to deliver your argument properly, man. Like Don Lemon talking about how you should shame people that don't get vaccinated. Like that's fucking weird, bro. Like that's to me not being a human being. And also people were pr protesting mandatory vaccinations at a hospital this week. I think that's fucking insane. Like both sides just doing some bullshit. And you can't be like that, man. You have to understand where someone's coming from. If someone's not trying to get a vaccine because they're confused and they don't know there's a lot they don't know the information and they're not comfortable with it who am i to tell them they're stupid for feeling that way man i think that's bullshit if you're uncomfortable and you're not feeling that way you're not feeling ready or you you just don't trust it it is what it is man i understand i'm not gonna tell you you're a fucking piece of shit for not getting something or getting something i think both angles is is ridiculous this happened the whole time throughout the trump presidency where you know if you're a fucking trump supporter you're a piece of shit but also people that were supporting this supporting this guy were also being very aggressive the other way so it's you know it's not a left or right thing in my opinion it's really not it's a people and just understanding that perspectives are different a no jumper a recent no jumper episode with adam adam 22 and he's got a co-host ad and adam was like arguing his vaccine stance so aggressively and so immaturely and i agreed with his points i do feel like you should probably get your vaccine i'm double vax whatever i hate that term but i am but i will not yell at someone to get their vaccine like i think that's fucking ridiculous and adam was just going off calling him stupid and how could you feel this way like ad was giving his perspective of he's like i don't really trust the government i completely relate to that and adam's just like you're an idiot you're a fucking idiot and i just think that's a ridiculous way to to make a point it's a ridiculous way to make a point you are not right because you believe in something that's not how it works you feel a certain way, that's your feeling, man. But you telling and yelling at someone that your way is the right way, no matter what the cause is, no matter what the message is, that's wrong, man. You you have to understand how to deliver a message. It's You can't yell and shame at someone. I refuse to support that type of, uh, type of conversation, that type of style. Even if I agree with the point, I don't like that man I don't like that style of just trying to make someone feel bad and call them an idiot to agree with you. I, I hate that because they're not agreeing with you. I hate that, man. You have to understand that people live completely different lives. Someone might have lived a life that you will never relate to. They grew up in completely different circumstances. They lived a completely different life. They had a completely different job, all this sort of stuff. Completely different money. How are you going to tell someone that you really can't relate to very well that you're right and they're wrong? To me, that's 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 not the that's not the way. I I don't agree with it. I think it's a very like mean spirited way of communicating your point. 
And I think it's very short-sighted, and I think you might as well bang your head against the wall because if someone were to yell at me to try to convince me, I would never, ever listen to anything they say, and I would never take them seriously again and probably not want to talk to them again. So long story short, no matter what your point is or what your message is, if you deliver it by calling someone an idiot and yelling at them and saying you're fucking wrong, I think you're fucking wrong. I think that's the wrong way to go about it, and I don't respect that style at all. And I think that's a dirty, a dirty game. And I hope, I hope that people can see past that at some point and, and understand that hey, just because they don't agree with me does not mean that they're wrong or a bad person. So that's how I feel about that, man. It's very much. I think, I think perspective is a huge thing in life. I feel like the old cliche. You looking at it glass half full or glass half empty, man. If you look at a situation and say it's shit, it's going to be shit. It is what it is. You're going to give up on it and you're not going to be able to max that shit out. You're not going to be able to make something. You're not going to be able to make lemons out of lemonade. You can take the exact same situation. You look at it from a more positive positive perspective you say let's see what we can do here who knows what happens here you're putting yourself in a better chance to succeed it's hard enough being positive life th throws shit at you no matter what whether you're positive or negative but when you're being negative it just makes it that much harder on you man you got that weight on your shoulder that bullshit's gonna cloud you and it's gonna make things even harder the positive mentality looking at the glass half full i don't think it hurts you in any way man i think it'll help you and take you places that you don't you didn't even think you could go but you trust yourself you keep a positive outlook i think you're going to be rewarded for it more times than not whatever man i don't i don't mean to sound like some preacher or some fucking priest or anything like that it's just the way i feel i think that this mentality of it's bullshit it was going to bring you bullshit. And honestly, you deserve bullshit if that's how you feel. If you think everything's shit and this guy's a fucking loser and this guy's an idiot, I don't see good things coming your way, man, because you're not going to put that work in. You're just giving up. You know, if you're folding, you fold, man. You fold that hand. I've talked about this in many episodes before. So only one thing can happen when you say fuck it and, and this is shit. Only one thing. A bad thing. That's the only thing that can happen. Something bullshit happens or nothing happens. When you say, fuck it, let's keep going, as opposed to, fuck it, I'm quitting, who knows what could happen, man? You can stumble upon something crazy. And I just think it, it goes into like creating your own luck and trusting yourself and understanding no situation is ever going to be perfect. I really don't think that exists. You can't wait for a perfect situation. You got to go make the most out of the situation and turn it into something good, man. It's like an analogy I could use. Anyone could coach a group with the most talented basketball players and win some games. But it takes a lot to coach some guys with not much talent and turn it into something. That's a real challenge, in my opinion. So I don't know, bro. I'm team glass half full always. Doesn't mean I don't get bummy. Doesn't mean I don't get down. Doesn't mean I'm a not a fucking negative fuck. Definitely those times exist. But for the most part, want to keep that, keep that idea of keeping a fucking positive mentality, glass half full mentality, man. So this this episode kind of rantish, but I think uh, I think we address some good stuff in this, man. It's to me so much about this life is about your perspective, how you view something. Someone might view something completely different from you. You might find one thing, the greatest thing in the world. You might find chocolate ice cream to taste amazing. And this person might feel like it tastes like shit. You yelling at them to say it's a fucking amazing and they yelling at you to say it's shit. You're both wrong, man. No matter what it is, you got to understand that some people are going to be different from you, feel differently. They might look at you even crazy. They might never understand you. That's okay, man. As long as you're not being an asshole towards them either way i think you're good because if you're an asshole you're not proving your point you're just being an asshole so that's how i feel r.i.p norm mcdonald legend comedic legend um you know anyone who's not familiar with him definitely go check out his work on youtube gone never forgotten We've got some great episodes coming up man i got some good guests coming in shout out to everyone that that uh, has been supporting has been watching i appreciate you guys Go like, go subscribe, all that corny shit. Go do that. 
We're out here, man. Versatile Vigilante, always out here. Let's get it. Free Big Avell, like always.